Okay, in this video, I'm going to go through a couple of the uh, Delta Maths activities that we have to do uh, to bring some clarity. So the first one was the uh, identifying trig ratios. Uh, okay, so the strategy in each of these is to actually take the information given and transfer it to an actual diagram of a right triangle. So the very first one is using triangle PQR. First thing it tells us that angle R is the 90 degree angle. So I'll go to, let's do it in red, uh, my 90 degree angle and I'm going to put R. Next thing it tells me, next thing I would do is actually take the, the, the lengths of the different sides and transfer them to the triangle. So 73, 55, and 48. If 73 is the longest side or the largest number, I'm going to put the 73 on the longest side. Next, I've got the 55 and the 48. 48 is the shortest. And the 55 is next. So now I'll then take the length that I have and transfer the variables. So 48 is PR. Well, if there's the R, this has to be the P. So PR, 48. And inversely, the 73 is QP. There's the P. Q has to go here. Alrighty. And so, it wants us to determine sine of angle P. Well, if this is angle P right here, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So, my opposite is 55. And the hypotenuse is 73. So 55 over 73 would be my answer. However, it says round to the nearest hundredth. So I'll go to my calculator and do 55 divided by 73. And I'll round that to the nearest hundredth, which would be 0.75. So let's put point. 75. Submit. There we go. Alright, I'll do another one. So question, new problem. Alright, now we're dealing with triangle OPQ. Alright, first thing it tells me is angle Q is 90 degrees. So I'll go here. This will be angle Q. Next, my sides 97, 65, 72. Well, my longest is 70, 97, so I'll put my 97 here, and I've got 65 and 72. Well, 65 is shorter, 72 is longer. Now, let's put the uh, other variables. The 65 was the OQ. Well, if this is Q, this has to be the O, and by default, this has to be the P. Now, they wanted me to find tangent of angle O. Alright, tangent of angle O. So, here we are at angle O. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Well, opposite to angle 4 is the 72. And adjacent to angle O is the 65 because the 97 is reserved for the hypotenuse. So 65. So there's our answer. 72 over 65. We need to round to the nearest hundredth. So let's go ahead and put it in the calculator. Well, we got 72 over 65. Answer 1.01. .01. And we round it to the nearest hundredth. So that'd be 1.11. 1.11, nearest hundredth, yep, 1.11. So here we go, 1.11, let's see what happens. Submit. There we go. We'll do two more problems. New problems. Oops, let me do that. Uh, so now we're working with, let's move this up, VWX. All right, start with the 90 degree angle. Let's use red here. 90 degree angle is X, so X goes here, uh, 12, 13, and 5. 
5 is the shortest, 12 is next, 13. All right, so now let me put the other letters in. We've got 12 is XW, so the W goes here, XW is 12, so by default, we've got the V going here. All right, they want us to find tangent, so again, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Let me move everything up, give me some room. There we go. So it's tangent is opposite over adjacent. And because we're working with angle V, this is the angle we're working with. Opposite is 12 and adjacent is 5. So 12 over 5. Notice they're not asking us to round to anything. So our answer will actually be 12 over 5. So I'm simply typing in 12 slash 5. Submit answer. Bet. All right, one more. New problem. And here, so we're going through the same situation. Let's start with the 90 degree angle. 90 degree angle is O. Angle O. Uh, the sides are 15, 8, and 17. So 17 is the longest. Uh, 8 and 15, 8 is here, 15 there, and let's put our sides. Well, ON is 8, so there's the N has to go here, and the 17 was NM, NM. Here they want cosine. Well, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, the adjacent, when we're working with angle N, so this is the angle, adjacent to N is the 8, because 17 is the hypotenuse. So 8 over 17. And again, in this question, they're not asking us to round, so we'll simply type in the 8 over 17. Submit, and yep, it's correct. So now I'll look at the other one, the other activity. This was the timed one. And so what I have here, what you'll need, there's going to be my little cheat sheet. Sine is opposite hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So here we go. It says cosine B. Started at the B. Cosine is adjacent to hypotenuse. Adjacent is 48. Hypotenuse 73, 48, 73. Cosine B, there's my B. Cosine adjacent 60, hypotenuse 87, 60, 87. Cosine A, now I'm here at angle A. Adjacent to hypotenuse, because it's cosine, adjacent is 15, hypotenuse 25, 15, 25. Next, sine of A. Down here at A, sine is opposite to hypotenuse, opposite 30, hypotenuse 78, 30, 78. Cosine B, there's angle B, cosine adjacent, 36, hypotenuse 60, 36, 60. Uh, cosine A, cosine adjacent, 51, uh, hypotenuse 85. Tangent. Tangent of B, so I'm at B, opposite to adjacent, opposite 48, adjacent 20, 48, 20, cosine B, B, cosine is adjacent, 48 to hypotenuse, 52, 48, 52. Tangent A, there's A, opposite to adjacent, 20, sorry, 10 over 24. And one more, tangent A. Opposite to adjacent, 33.56. Bet. So that was 10. So, so far, it was a score of 101 seconds out of 100. You guys have 120 seconds, so it's more than enough time. So I'll stop. Hopefully, this helps you out. And if you have any questions, just let me know.